Governor Sununu expressing his frustrations with the Johnson & Johnson pause, including on a conference call between governors and Dr. Anthony Fauci. To stop an entire vaccine, the most popular vaccine for the biggest public health crisis this country has faced in 100 years, is a, is a pretty extreme step. So my question to Dr. Fauci simply was, what else is there? You must be seeing some other data other than a one in a million event just pause this entire thing. Sununu is concerned about the impact the pause will have on public confidence as states try to convince people to get vaccinated. He calls the Johnson & Johnson vaccine a powerful tool, not only popular, but ideal for equity and underserved communities because it's essentially one and done. He says the state has safely stored thousands of doses it still has so that it can be used if the pause is lifted and that people with appointments are getting rescheduled. We are doing everything we can. Perry and his team have been working really hard with the pharmacies to either get them the Moderna or the Pfizer to get them rescheduled. They might not get everybody rescheduled. I mean, there's a lot of folks, um, but they're working really hard to get as many folks as possible rescheduled into a, a different uh, presentation of the vaccine. Despite the less than a one in a million chance of developing this blood clot, any Granite Staters who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine within the last three weeks are encouraged to monitor for symptoms. We're live in Concord, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.